video from Heavens, and look, Heavens are here right now at the Epitaph headquarters. Welcome, gentlemen. First Thank time you. we've had well, half good? of you on the show. Yeah, thanks for having us. Thanks for being here. Now, who directed the video? Who came up with the whole concept? Because I love it. Uh, I wanted to have something that had like a 60s talk show vibe, like an old Scott Walker video. Maybe like, I had this old jazz footage from this guy named Raymond Scott, he used to make this electronic music. And uh, we gave it to Sean Kim, and he came up with the whole idea of the uh, the concept of having like the two guys there and you know being like a variety show and the stage collapsing on everybody so it's pretty it's fun I to love do. it it's very German yeah very, very, very Prussian <laughs> cool all right we're gonna talk a lot more with heavens right after these commercials entitled we are here at the epitaph headquarters with heavens now Matt we've had you on the show before the alkaline trio how did you and Josiah here join up we met in Chicago uh, years ago through mutual friends Joe was uh, uh, in Chicago recording with his old band and um, we kind of became fast friends and long story short I ended up moving to LA and moving in with Joe and his wife we were housemates and uh, just started listening to music and messing around with ideas and here we are Wow so now I heard there was a different name before heavens yeah we were calling it the GOD which was named after uh, a Hieronymus Bosch painting the garden of Garden of Earthly Delights and uh, we found out that there were some other acts called the G.O.D. and then I later found out that Joe hated the name. So oh. it took him Guaranteed a Guaranteed overnight delivery. Yeah, Frogs everywhere. Yeah, and ah. there was some like trip, like uh, like trip hop artists, and there was a couple different G.O.D.s. So we decided to, and Heavens was, you know, the next best thing. It really is. Yeah. Good one. Here's a good thing. Here's the weaker dance. Okay, that was the Weaker Dance. I'm here with Heavens. Now, so we're at the Epitaph headquarters. How did you guys get hooked up with Brett? Brett and I have been friends for a number of years, and we were just looking for, um, you know, a first thing, we wanted somebody that liked the record. You know, we, we were looking for a label and played it for some people, and people were interested, but when I came over here and played it for Brett, um, he was really, really enthusiastic about it, and, and you know, he... I know that he runs, you know, a, a, a really tight ship over here, and everybody that works here is really cool. And it's, you know, it's important for us to work with people that we like and that we trust. And and uh, we had that with with Epitaph, and then on top of it, like I said, Brett was the most excited about it. So um, yeah, it was to share a label with, you know, the, the last Elliot Smith record and Tom Waits and Nick Cave and Nico Case is just very. I think I think Anti and Bad Religion. Label, so. Who? Yeah. No idea. Uh, now, didn't you guys have the record completely paid for by the time you brought it to Brett? You think that might have been an incentive? Uh, it wasn't completely paid for. We started uh, the project funding it ourselves, um, but we got it all the way up to uh, the mixing process. It wasn't mixed, so that was kind of part of the deal. We, um, you know, we just wanted it, wanted somebody to put money into it to have it mixed because we did it for relatively cheap. So and we stayed um, at our friend's studio, um, made it by ourselves, just the two of us and him. So. It was, uh, it was very unconventional, but fun nonetheless. And awesome. It sounds pretty damn good. It's called Patent Pending. Check it out, and we'll be right back. All right, welcome back to Sirs. I'm here with Heavens at the Epitaph headquarters, and we're having a barbecue. It's pretty damn cool. So, Matt, I'm just curious about the thought process, because Alkaline Trio, one of our favorite bands, doing very well. What prompted you to go off and do another group, I should say? I don't want to say side project. Well, yeah, we... We were, uh, when Joe and I were living together, we were just listening to records this one day and he had a, a demo tape that he made of just some song ideas that he never used in any other band. And he was like, oh, you should check out these, these things I did a while back and, and uh, just played it for me and I fell in love with it. Like the first time I heard it, I came up with a melody and I thought, you know, these songs are really great. We should uh, work on stuff together. And it was almost, uh, we decided that we were we were going to make an album. There wasn't like, oh, let's, let's see what happens or let's see where we can take this. It was like, we're going to do a record and then, you know. So it was like pretty much after hearing that hearing that cassette tape, we got right to work and I had a uh, 16 track in my room and we just started recording the ideas and, and demoing them over time. Weren't you supposed to be taking time off from, from touring off Crimson and writing and everything? I We wrote it. Before Crimson, yeah, actually. It was, it was oh, wow. While, yeah. uh, while I was working on Crimson with my band, my other other bandmates, Joe and I started writing the Heavens record like side by side. Oh, okay. So, yeah. So now is there going to be a tour? Uh, Leaving today? Yeah. Going to England today. In 45 minutes. Flying to the UK. Fair enough. By the time this airs, maybe you'll have been back. That's right. And so from UK, are you going to head over to Europe proper, do some festivals, and then come back? No, we're just doing the West Coast. 
fly back and do California, then we go to the east and do the northeast up through Chicago. Okay, New York anytime soon? We'll be in New York for a week. Fantastic. Halloween. Halloween. That's it. And, and the 11th, the Mercury Lounge. Rock on. Well, uh, I think we'll be there. We'll be That's there fun. hanging out. Uh, here's a band I just saw open for Bad Brains a little bit ago. This is the Bouncing Souls with the pizza song. That was the Souls and Pizza song. I'm here with Heaven, so we're getting ready to head out on tour. First, over to the UK. So how's that work with the tour? What's the band consist of? The band, we have um, Matthew Cornbread Compton on drums, who played on the record. Uh, we have uh, producer Ben Lovett is playing bass. Um, my wife Erica is playing piano and doing backing vocals. And our good friend Nathan is playing second guitar. Oh, wow. Are you rocking the guitar? I'm not, no, just the microphone. Taking a break? Taking a break from the guitar, yeah. We'll let my calluses soften. And so, will there be a new video? Uh, I'm not sure yet. We not that far ahead. It. We're going to talk about that over at the, uh, the merch hot dog tent after this. We're going to corner Brett. I wonder if this tent has been cleaned after the warp tour. It looks clean. It looks pretty good. And, uh, and it's a lot of vegan food here at Epitaph. I know that sounds cheesy to everybody, but it tastes delicious. It's, it's not wonderful. cheesy. It's actually it's true. It's not cheesy. At all. No. It's because it's because it's vegan. All right. Well, we wish you guys to have a wonderful tour. Yeah. And Thank please come back and see us when you guys are in New York. We'll see you guys at Mercury Lounge. It's heavens. It's damn, damn good. Go out and check it out. Here, we're going to leave you with a Bad Religion, Weird, Epitaph, and Struck a Nerve. Where's Brett?